We're here in Nova Mesto checking out the pro bike of none other than Nino Scherter. This, of course, is his Scott Spark RC World Cup race bike. So, of course, the Scott Spark RC is one of the lightest frames in existence running the twin lock remote system on the rear shock there for ultimate efficiency on all terrain. The lockout system itself is housed in this trunnion box which holds the shock in place. Cabling goes up through the down tube here and exit towards that twin lock lever. Geometry itself, you're looking at a 68 and a half degree head angle on there and out back it's got 435 mil chain stays which make perfectly with those 29 inch wheels. It both offers the bike plenty of stability and traction while still being agile and compact enough to make sure the bike feels really, really fast. Of course, out back it is running technically a single pivot. There is no pivot on the back here. Instead, it does rely on the natural flex in the carbon there. Of course, this does make for a stiffer back end whilst also retaining the super lightweight construction of it. Nino's personal bike has all the graphics from his previous winnings. 2017 Triple Crown Champion, 2017 World Champion, World Cup winner, Cape Epic winner. Been there, done it. This man has won it all. What an amazing rider. And there's also little Nino Scherzer graphics everywhere, just to remind you whose bike it is. On the back of the seat tube here, little caricature, little cartoon one. And again, there's another I've just spotted just under the saddle there. That is a trick bike. So up front, the cockpit of Nino's bike, of course, he is famous for running a very low and aggressive bar setup. And it's no different on this bike, except it has the brand new Nino Scherter Edition version of the Frasier IC SL bar and stem combination fully carbon fiber constructed by Syncros. This has got a virtual 90 millimeter stem on it and the bar is hovering around 680 millimeters wide. As with all of the other XC Pros, Nino is running push on foam grips, a combination of comfort, lightweight, and of course, just how they feel. They do manage to absorb some of that trail bar, so they're a very comfortable grip. Brake levers are the SRAM level ultimate, super lightweight, very nice looking brakes. And of course, he's got a twin lock remote system here for his suspension setup, front and rear. And of course, you might have noticed something a bit different on Nino's bike. Currently, it's only on Nino's bike, is the new SRAM Eagle electronic shifter. Now, we don't know too much about the SRAM wireless shifting system as seen here on Nino's bike, other than the fact that it is wireless and it uses SRAM very own wireless technology. So up front on Nino Scherter's race bike here, of course, is the RockShox SID World Cup. And this is that brand new version with the debonair air spring on it. The debonair air spring, of course, means it's a lot more sensitive at the beginning of the stroke. And on the top of this fork, I don't know if you can see it from there, but it's got carbon fiber crown and steerer tube. Incredibly light, incredibly stiff, and incredibly responsive. Damping duties is taken care of with the new RL3 charger damper. And in this case, it's hooked up to the twin lock system, which is pretty much dedicated for Scott bikes. Wheels, of course, are similar to other riders. They're a little bit different in Nino's case, though. They're DT Swiss 240S hubs laced up on the XMC 1200 rims, which are, of course, carbon fiber. But whereas a lot of riders are offering for the 25 mil internal rim width, Nino's gone for the 30. So that gives his tires a lot more support, enables him to run lower pressures and really maximize on traction. And tires are the super fast rolling Aspens from Maxxis. Now back on Nino's bike, of course, is another Aspen tire and another set of those DT Swiss wheels, again with that 30 mil rim on the back and the carbon fiber construction. Needless to say, his tires are set up tubeless and of course, shifting duties is handled by SRAM. Although in Nino's case, it's a little bit different to everyone else. It's got that Eagle 1050 cassette on there, complete with the chain and the XX1 carbon fiber cranks up front there and a 38 tooth chain ring. Shifter, of course, is that new Eagle offering, except this one is no longer bearing the black box stickers, which suggests it's a lot closer to production now. It's a completely wireless offering. Of course, it runs on SRAM's own wireless system to communicate with the shifter up front. Shifting is rumored to be ultra positive and lightning fast, but we've not yet ridden one. Finishing kit on Nino's bike includes a carbon fiber synchros post with a matching saddle there, also with carbon fiber rails. He's got Topi carbon fiber bottle cage on there and he's got the Ritchie SPD compatible pedals on there. Total weight on this masterpiece of a bike is 9.55 kilograms or 21 pound four ounces. Of course, if you want to hear what it sounds like, pretty sleek. 
So there we go, there is Nino Scherter's Pro Bike. It's a very special bike with a few very individual things on it. If you want to see a bit more about the early days of his wireless shifting system, click down here for the video from Stellenbosch. All the XC tech is in there, and of course that black box version of this very same derailleur. Click down here if you want to see all the other cool stuff we saw here in Nova Mesto. As always, click on that round globe to subscribe. There's new content for you every week here at GMBN Tech. And if you like Nino's bike, give us a thumbs up.